How's it going, you old balls of shit? Today we're going to talk about how to get a more anamorphic look in post when you're shooting in a 16x9, just so you can get that more cinematic widescreen feel. A couple of notes. One, I'm using Movie Studio Platinum, the most basic bitch program you can get. So if you can do it here, you can do it in any program. Maybe a little bit different, though. Um, second, we're just going to go over the scaling and resizing of the image. We're not talking about lens flares or oval-shaped bokeh. That's stuff you're going to want to get in camera. First things first, I'm the realist. You're going to want to change the format of your viewing screen so it's proper. 235, 239 even, very standard widescreen formats. I like a good 225 though. 235 for me is just a little too much for the black bars, I gotta say. Um, it's like that Sam Smith video, like the bars are like way like up here you get like very little image. I don't I don't understand it. I still want to see things. I just want them in widescreen. So I'm going to set it to 225 for me. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, if you open up your track motion, I already have it preset, of course, but, um, and by the way, do that with all of these. Just set up presets for everything. It's so much faster in your workflow. But the width is going to be set to 2650, which is going to be the best uh, to get most of the image and to make sure you cut off the sides and top and bottom uh, for the black bars, which I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. So. Actually, I can pull this open. There you go. Now you have a better idea what I'm talking about. Now, when you open up your effects, which right now I just, I have a very basic generic set of effects up here because less is more, I think. You have some standard things like sharpen or uh, this is for vignetting. But what we're really going to talk about is deform. Now, again, I have a preset set up. Um, you can just copy and paste the settings here. But basically all we're doing is moving in the sides inward, top and bottom inward. Generally, it's actually top and bottom go more outward. If, if you think of these corners kind of going up and the image kind of uh, working in from that way, but this program's not great at that. So I find a way around that is to do the opposite. So if you turn it on, you can see it's very subtle because you can go you know, more with it kind of see what it's doing there. It's just kind of stretching the image inward a bit. Add vignetting, which I like a very subtle vignetting. Add a little color curves, add a little color correction. And that's, I mean, that's basically it. It's very simple. Kind of stretches things a bit inward, which is good when you're Image is already being stretched out from a 16 by 9 to a 235. It's already cropping in quite a bit, so you're going to want to get some of that back. And this is probably actually not the best image to show it, but the sides, you know, kind of go in as you would see in that more anamorphic lens style. Um, the reason I only do it, you see, negative, you know, 0.35, negative 0.35 is because if you do too much, you know, the more it goes in, the more the sides start getting very unnatural and it, I don't like it. So very basic, very subtle anamorphic style. So for reference, again, here is that standard 16 by nine image, uh, no effects. So this is before deforming and this is after. And this is after with a little sharpening and color grading. All right, thanks for watching.